So here we are, we could talk a little bit about the fuels and the difference between one, 10, and 100 hour fuel. So can you walk us through that? So available fuel, especially in this fire here, is, uh, is, is driven a lot by the fuel. So typically fuel comes in hours, and I'll explain that. There's, a, there's one hour fuel, there's 10 hour fuel, 100 hour fuel, and 1000 hour fuel. So if you look just in the backdrop and you get into the, the light grass, it takes one hour for humidity to affect this either positively or negatively to bring it in or out of being available fuel. As you move into brush, medium brush, now it takes a little bit longer. So humidity will affect that fuel. It takes longer time for that to become available fuel. Gets into the 10 hour, that's your light brush. Then you start getting into trees and heavier, thicker brush, it takes 100 hours. So parts of that is 10, but when you get to that bigger, thick stock, it's 100 hours for the humidity to affect it. And then if we were to go into Yosemite or the National Forest where you find big conifer, big pine trees, Douglas fir trees, those types of trees, none of that here is your thousand hour fuels where it takes a lot longer for a periods of humidity to affect the fuel to make it. Typically the carrier fuel is your one hour fuel, 10 hour fuels. That is what gives you the excessive or rapid fire growth. That carries the fire and then it gets into the heavier stuff, preheats it, and that's what creates a fuel-driven fire.